let's begin segment number four of this uh, 1,000 subscriber two-in-one special, and we are going to be playing Jeopardy 2000 edition, second edition. Hi, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's set things Jeopardy up before the edition. options will let you fine-tune the game just the way you want to. Normal game, okay? So how many people out there? Type in your name, player one. Player one, here's your buzz in key. Let's do it, come on. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this. Let's get things underway, player one. All right, let's start with the solar system from 100. The atmospheric pressure of this hot planet nearest to Earth is about 90 times that of the Earth. Player one. What is Venus? Absolutely. Pick again. System for 200. Examples of these celestial showers include Perseids, Orionids, and Leonids. Player one. What are meteor showers? Definitely. Solar for 300. The name of this light display in the Earth's atmosphere is from the Latin for Northern Dawn. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is an aurora? You're in fine, fine form, so, so pick, pick again. It. Solar system for In February 2000, a spacecraft called Near went into orbit around Eros, one of these roids. Player one. What is an asteroid? Absolutely. Pick again. System for 500. It's nothing to fear. Phobos is the larger of this planet's two moons. Player one. What is Mars? That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Pop albums for 100. He released Earthling in 1997, 25 years after telling us of Ziggy Stardust. Player one. Who is David Bowie? Absolutely. Pick again. Albums for 200. This guitarist came alive to millions of new fans in a 1976 number one album. Player one. Who is Peter Frampton? That's right. Pick again. Albums for 300. They recorded Dark Side of the Moon. Player one. Well, who are Pink Floyd? Whoops. Nice try, but that is... Oh! Anyone Shoot. at all? I... I missed, I forgot S the, uh, the correct question. I typed in an extra F and they wouldn't accept it. Darn it, 400. There's no doubt that this album title refers to the band member's upbringing near Disneyland. Player one. What is Tragic Kingdom? Very good. Pick again. <sighs> this Albums album by Sheryl Crow originated with weekly LA Jam sessions. Player one. What is Tuesday Night Music Club? Absolutely. Pick again. The press says for 100. 1961. Ask not what your country can do for you. Player one. Who is Kennedy? Uh-oh. You know, that's ambiguous. I'm going to need a little bit more <laughs> than that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Player one. Uh, well, who is John F. Kennedy? Precisely. Says for 200. 1990. I'm President of the United States, and I'm not going to eat any more broccoli. Player one. Who is Bush? Absolutely. They Pick got again. that one. Says for 300. 1863. The world will little note, nor long remember, what we say here. Player one. So who is Lincoln? Right you are. Says, press says for 400. 1974. I have never been a quitter. Player Who one. is Nixon? Absolutely. Pick again. Press says for 500. Nixon, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Let's go all of it. 1940. We must be the great arsenal of democracy. Player one. Who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Definitely. File under P for 100. 
In 1999, this planet resumed its rightful position as ninth planet from the sun. Player one. What is Pluto? <gasps> Ooh, oh, shoot. Anyone? Player three. What is Pluto? Exactly. I said the right answer, but I spelled it wrong. And she got it. Ling Ling was a famous one. Player one. What is a panda? That's it, exactly. She said the right one. Damn. Under P for 300. Holiday for Matzo, Matzo men. Player one. What is Passover? Exactly. Under P for 400. Again, the I kind of a fork. Put a wrong or letter the in there. Of an antler. Player one. What is a prong? That's right. Pick again. Once again, uh, on that Pluto thing, I put a wrong letter in there, and it cost me. Under P for 500. This soup didn't start your meal. It started you and all life on Earth. Player one. What is P? No. No! Oh, sorry. Player three. What is primordial? Primordial, exactly. darn Give it. Give me leading men. Sorry. For 100, Alex. Yeah, he was the original Terminator. Player one. Who was Arnold Schwarzenegger? Definitely. Being men for 200. He's played Dirty Harry Callahan in five films. Player one. Who is Clint Eastwood? Absolutely. Pick again. Men for 300. 31 years after starring in HUD, he appeared in the HUD Sucker Proxy. Anyone at all? Nope. Paul Newman. This is the correct question. Leading men for 400. In the early 1980s, this star of Scarface and Serpico was an artistic director of the actor's studio. Player one. Who is Al Pacino? Absolutely. Pick again. Men for 500. He co-starred with Woody Harrelson in White Men Can't Jump and with Sean Connery in Rising Sun. Anyone at all? Player three. Who is Lawrence Fishburne? No. Good guess. Good guess. But it's not it's what we're not looking for. Not what we're looking for. Nobody? Wesley Snipes. the correct question. Shoes for 100. This type of shoe has a slot in the strap across each vamp into which a coin can be inserted. Player one. What is a penny loafer? Very good. Pick again. Shoes for 200. The lad who's the symbol of a line of Sherwin-Williams paints wears this type of shoes. Nobody? This is the Wooded correct shoes. question. 300 what uh, uh, shoes. These boots, named for a British general, became popular during the Napoleonic Wars. Player one. What are Wellington boots? Yes. Yes. Shoes for 400. Miranda, Spectator, and Dorsey are types of this slip-on women's shoe. Player three. What is the pump? Exactly. And now to finish off the round. This flat shoe normally has a cloth upper and a flexible rope sole. Nobody? This is the correct That's question. Mr. L. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the story. Building up a huge lead. Player two didn't even ring in once during that player round. Three. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first in Double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for... Let's go for... They hail from Boston. For 200, please. This Boston native played Mr. Spock. Player one. Who is Leonard Nimoy? Correct. Right. Pick again. Pick again. Boston for 400. This disco queen had us all dancing in the 70s with I love you, I feel love, and love to love you, baby. Player one. Who is Donna Summer? Exactly. Hail from Boston for 600. And two. The Daily Double.
Could you make your wager, please? Um, let's do 1,200. This West Point washout and author of The Raven was born in Boston in 1809. Player one. The Raven author. Who is Edgar Allan Poe? Exactly. Hail from Boston for 800. Born in Boston in 1931, she was the first female to co-anchor a regular nightly network newscast. Player one. Who is Barbara Walters? Absolutely. Pick again. Boston for a thousand. A one-time Unitarian pastor, he transcended with works like Nature and the American Scholar. Anyone? Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right response. Ralph Walder Emerson. Uh, mythological crossword clues M for 200. Touchy golden guy. Five letters. Player one. Who is Midas? Absolutely. Pick again. Mythological 400. Quicksilver messenger. Seven letters. Player one. Who is Mercury? Precisely. 600 mythological. Hair today, snakes tomorrow. Six letters. Player one. Who is Medusa? Exactly. Crossword clues M for 800. Jason pulled the wool over her eyes. Five letters. Player one. Who is Medea? Very good. Yes! Back again. Still rolling. 1,000 mythological. Helen's hubby. Eight letters. Anybody? Here's what we were looking for. Menelaus. Um, let's do sports and fitness for 200. By 1965, this teenage Austrian was so muscular, he was named Junior Mr. Europe. Player one. Who was Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes. Sports for 400. This Florida baseball team entered the National League in 1993 and won the World Series in 1997. Player one. What are the Florida Marlins? Absolutely. Pick again. Sports for 600. The 1956 Olympics featured a bloody water polo match between Hungary and this union. Player one. What was the Soviet Union? Those Soviets know how to Correct. be violent. <laughs> Sports for 800. And two. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Uh, let's go for 6,000. A stanga is a high-energy type of this exercise discipline whose name is Sanskrit for union. Player one. Sanskrit for union. Yoga. What is yoga? Exactly. Uh, sports and fitness for 1,000. This great Edmonton oiler was traded to the L.A. Kings hockey team in 1988. Player one. Who is Wayne Gretzky? All right. Geographic class recluse uh, B for 200. Look out below country. Seven letters. Player three. What is Belgium? Exactly. Look out Belgium. Geographic crossword clues B for 400. Straight through Istanbul. Nine letters. Anyone at all? What we were looking Bosphorus. for was this. Geographic crossword clues B for 600, please, Alex. French, French, volcanic, volcanic. Island, island. Four letters, four letters. Player one. What is Bora Bora? Exactly. Clu clues for 800. Commonplace city. Six letters. Is that it? Anyone? 
Take awesome. a look, here's the right response. Clues for 1,000. Cream Center of Germany. Seven letters. Anyone at all? This is the question. Uh, 1970 for 200. Concerns over the environment led to the first national observance of this day on April 22nd. Player one. What is Earth Day? That's right. Pick again. 70 for 400. After dropping out of a California prison, he tuned into Algeria, where he was granted asylum. Player one. Who is Charles Manson? Oh, regrettably no. no. Anyone at all? Player two. Who is Timothy Leary? Exactly. Timothy Leary. 1970 for 600. He donated some 800 of his works to a Barcelona museum. Anyone at all? What we were looking for was Darn this. Darn it. 1970. For 800, please, Alex. This Osaka event lasted March 15th to September 13th and had as many as 835,000 visitors in one day. Yo, that's a big amount. Anybody? Player two? What was the World Cup? Good answer. No. Sorry. That's wrong. It's not the Olympics either. Anyone? Here's what we were looking Expo for. Expo 70. 1970. For 1,000. Walter Ruther, president of this union since 1946, died in a plane crash in May. Player two? What is the United Auto Workers? Precisely. Let's go for Shakespeare for 200. It's a play within a play, and so is Kiss Me Kate, the musical based on it. Nobody? This is the correct Jamie question. The Shakespeare for 400, Alex. This play may have premiered a dozen days after Christmas, which would explain its title. Player one. What is the twelfth night? All right. Shakespeare for six hundred. This comedy concerns Valentine and Proteus, two guys from Italy who vie for the hand of Sylvia. Anybody? This is the correct question. Shakespeare for 800. Anthony Hopkins played the female role of Audrey in an all-male production of this likable comedy. Player one. What is As You Like It? You're correct. You're correct. Here's the final answer on this board. If you think the Antipholus twins aren't the heroes of this comedy, you're mistaken. Player one. What is the comedy of errors? That's right. That's you right. Know you your know literature. your literature. <laughs> Let's see how all the players are doing after the double jeopardy one. Player one, you've got the lead. Twenty-three thousand six hundred. We're still in the thick of it, player three. You'll get back in the game, player two. And player two. Well, now it's time for final jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Fish fry. All right, go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please All make right. your wager. Let's make my wager $6,400 for an even $30,000. follows. Good luck, everyone. If you fried this fish up for the same named hero of an opera, he might say it was the best he ever had. What is a porgy? All right, let's see how everyone did. Player two, your question. That a Giuseppe. is correct. What was your wager? Player three, your question. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? Player one, your question. That's right. And your wager was... $30,000.
Congratulations to our big winner. Player one. $30,000. Going Thanks in, for playing Jeopardy. Going in, a good time. Go, go go on, and MVG production. Hi, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Subscriber Let's bank. set things up before we begin our game. So, go, so we're definitely making up for a, a bad deal or no deal segment. And we will see you soon for part five. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and visit my store at denigames.storeenvy.com.